seemed like you guys weren't getting the, the kind of movement that you wanted in late game offense. What did you see and how much did the turnovers kind of bog you guys down? I disagree with you. I thought we got much better movement tonight. Some things that worked for us. Uh, the turnovers were killers, uh, 18 of them. A lot of them unforced. Um, but the movement was much better. The offense was much better. Steve, uh, you went to KD a lot in the post uh, on, on the mismatch. Is there is there price for that? It looks like Houston is uh, face guarding and the shooters aren't getting open. Uh, do, you, do you feel like they're, you're is sacrificing? There a price for throwing the ball to Kevin Durant yeah. in the are block? You, are you sacrificing something? No. By, by it's going a, it's with a that. good option to throw the ball to Kevin Durant on the post. It's a really good option. On the last play when uh, Steph hit it ahead to Draymond, was that kind of the design or what was just kind of the play design? Well, it was a tough break for us because um, we got the rebound um, off the missed free throw. And, you know, it's one of those plays where if you get the immediate timeout, you get to advance it. And the ball kind of squirted loose. And, you know, I was calling timeout. Sometimes they'll give it to you. um, But Draymond, because he fumbled it, it bounced. They said he took a dribble. It's kind of a judgment call. Uh, so now we got to go full court with six seconds left. We knew they had a foul to give, so we wanted Steph to push it, and we were anticipating that they were going to foul Steph. Uh, but he made the right play. He threw it ahead to Draymond. I think Draymond saw an open lane uh, to the basket, but he knew the time was winding down a little bit. I think Draymond probably thought he could get to the rim and dunk it. Um, I'll have to see the replay. I think Clay may have been in the far right corner, um, so we had the floor spread. Um, and I, th- I thought, m- m- without having seen it yet, I, th- I thought Draymond just rushed it a little bit and fumbled it. Um, but it, you know, it was the play was unfolding nicely. It just didn't turn out, obviously. Steve Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Chris Paul scored 18 of his 20 in the second half, and it seemed like he was successfully drawing your bigs to him for the isolations. How challenging was that for you with? The personnel yeah. that you had, and, and what did you think of how he was able to get those? Well, ice Chris, in? Chris is, um, you know, he's a Hall of Fame player, um, and look, um, this is what they do. They put James and Chris in pick and roll every single time, so they're going to challenge you. Um, we did a great job. They combined to shoot 11 for 40. Um, he hit two fadeaway 35 foot threes that were just unbelievable. You got to live with that. What we can't live with is reaching and jumping on Eric Gordon's pump fakes. Um, Gordon shot 10 free throws tonight, two of them on three-point, or six of them on uh, three-point shots. Uh, We reached on James. James shot uh, nine free throws. We've got to be a little more disciplined. Um, I feel great about where we are right now. And that may sound crazy, um, but I, I feel it. I know exactly what I'm seeing out there. And we defended them beautifully tonight. We got everything we needed. Just too many turnovers, too many reaches. Um, and if we settle down a little bit, we're going to be in really good shape. Hey, Steve. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. That's a few games now where the Rockets seem to have asserted their pace on the game. A certain what? Asserted their pace uh-huh. on the game. I mean, is that just something you have to live with and beat them at their pace, or can you find ways to get it up? Uh, I, I, think I, I think I said it, but I, I liked – the the overall flow of the game much better tonight. It felt much better than it did in uh, in game four. Um, but we got rushed in transition. We had several turnovers where we just uh, kind of got uh, a little too excited and threw the ball away. And um, you know, ideally we take care of the ball. I always tell our guys hit singles. We were trying to hit triples. We got to hit singles. Um, if we do that in transition, um, we're going to get some more. Good looks. I thought we had some great looks that we didn't knock down tonight that will go uh, in game six. And um, I like our defense. I like our effort. I like our competitive desire. Um, Just got to be a little wiser um, with the reaching and taking care of the ball. And when we do that, we're going to be in great shape. Steve, uh, Mark Medina, Bay Area News Group. Uh, the telecasts capture part of your message to Kevin about trusting his teammates. How did you see that play out throughout the game? Uh, I just thought he got into a little bit of a rush, um, like we all did. Um, maybe it was the third quarter. Um, 
where he was attacking, which I liked, but he was trying uh, some difficult passes. And uh, I think I was just telling him, hey, let's, uh, you know, let's move the ball on to the first open guy and keep, keep playing, and uh, we're going to get good stuff. And, uh, you know, Kevin, um, the guy is just such an amazing talent. He does so much for us. And, uh, you know, you got to go to him on the block. you got to put the ball in his hands. Uh, I'm sure he has a couple shots he'd like to have back. Um, but... Uh, he was, uh, he kept us in it, you know, 10 free throws. I loved how he attacked. He attacked right away, got into the paint, did a lot of good things. Um, but I feel, I feel like uh, we keep playing like this with a little more discipline. Um, things are going to turn for us. Steve, uh, he's Chronicle. Looking at game six, given how hurt it looked like Chris Paul might have been at the end there and that he either, he might miss the next game or he will, he might be ha have to overcome some kind of injury. How much of an advantage is that to you? And I, I hope it's not 13.7%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, look, um, we, we're just going to go out and play and we don't, you know, we don't know who's healthy, who's injured. You know, we've been without Andre the last couple of games and we've adapted and it's part of the playoffs. You just play, and whatever happens, happens. And uh, so I have no idea. Well, maybe, maybe I can answer that question better if if um, if there's some declaration as to who's in and who's out. Ramona Shelburne with ESPN here. I, I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to the team all that much yet, but this is probably the the worst situation you've been in since Kevin's been on the team. The, in terms of these guys, sort of desperation backs up against the wall. Is yeah. there? Is there any, do you have a sense of how they're taking this so far or how they respond I to it? I think they're angry. I think they know that uh, we could have won this game, could have won the last game. I think they're sitting in there and they're angry, as they should be. You know, they're competitors. Um, I like what you said. Uh, this is the worst situation we've been in since Kevin's been here. And uh, we're two wins from making the NBA Finals. So that's a pretty good worst situation to be in. So uh, we're, we're right there. Um, We've, we, uh, we found some things tonight that worked for us. I'm extremely confident uh, that we're going to uh, take care of business, and uh, we just got to be a little sharper. Steve, Marcus Thompson with The Athletic. Um, defensively, you guys held them to under 100 points. What, what's been the difference with the, uh, especially the perimeter defense? Why, why has it been so good these last two games? especially uh, Our defense? Church? Yes. Um, well, I think we have a lot of guys who um, are, are good perimeter defenders. You know, Jordan Bell and Looney are doing a nice job trying to stay in front of Chris and James. It's not an easy job. Um, you know, we've got a lot of guys, KD, Draymond, Clay, Steph, who are really good at staying in front, um, keeping, you know, penetration from happening or rotating. Um, we've been a great defensive team for years, uh, and we're playing great defense. Uh, as I said, though, uh, too much reaching tonight and, uh, and too many turnovers. And that's, that's the simple story right there. Two more, Melissa and Ron. Uh, Melissa Roland Berry, News Group. Uh, Steve, how much does Chris Paul's presence on the court change things for you guys and make things tougher? You guys I'm sorry, how much does what? How much does Chris Paul's presence on the court change, change things for you guys and make things tough for you guys with his intensity and his skills? Well, I think what, what Chris has, has done is he's given them another option. Um, you know, the, in the past, this team was, was all James uh, on the pick and roll, and now they can rest James and, and put Chris on the pick and roll. And um, he's obviously a phenomenal player, and, um, you know, he's a, he's a competitor, and, you know, he had big shots. I uh, hit a couple shots that, uh, you know, looked like it was going to be a shot clock violation, and he kind of pulled the rabbit out of the hat. Um, but that's what great players do. So, um, and I've said it. There's a reason uh, Rockets won 65 games. They're they're a great team, um, and Chris is a big part of that. Ron Krejcik, San Francisco Chronicle. How would you sort of characterize the way Steph and Clay played tonight in the first quarter? Steph didn't even take a shot. I think. Yeah. For seven or eight minutes. They obviously found their rhythm for a while, yeah. but then in the fourth seemed like, as you kind of suggested, rushed a bit. Uh, how would you sort of evaluate the way they played? I thought that? they were great. Um, this game didn't surprise me. You know, the Rockets had, um, you know, a little momentum from the last game, and they're at home, and they're coming out, uh, you know, hair on fire, playing great defense. Didn't surprise me that we only scored 17 in the first quarter. Uh, but then I thought we settled in, and... Uh, you know, fourth quarter, both Steph and Clay made some big plays. Uh, you know, Clay's uh, pump fake and three free throws were big for us. 
Uh, Steph made some hoops, a um, couple shots I'm sure he'd like to have back. You know, he had the runner uh, down the stretch that looked good. He was right there, just uh, rattled out. And uh, But, again, I thought uh, I thought our guys played really hard and played really well. Uh, just got to be a little smarter. Great. Thank you. Thanks.